Hello and welcome. My name is Fraser from Elementary Technology. I'm here in our Experience Centre today and I'm going to be demoing the Smart 6000S. So just a brief demo to show you what it can do. So let's start off with the home screen. So the home screen, otherwise known as IQ, is all about what the screen can do all by itself. So at the moment, I'm not using my laptop. I'm just using the screen more like a tablet, essentially, in the classroom. So from here, I've got this menu here and a few simple buttons, very easy to navigate. I've got a nice simple whiteboard that I can jump into. So just like using a normal whiteboard, it's not like using Smart Notebook or Lumia. This is all about just being able to grab a pen, choose your paper, and then make some notes. I can come over to here. I can change the thickness of my pen, the color. I can even go use a highlighter. And one of my favorites is just here. pen that turns itself into text for you. Keeps everything neat, but also keeps everything the right sort of size, because you generally tend to find you write a bit too big on the board. As I said, this is just a whiteboard for making some notes, but it does have some really good features. For instance, the one we've talked about, then you've got access to the internet. So into here, I could type in, so I'm gonna go with times tables, which will do me a quick sort of Google search essentially, and I can find the right one I want, which is this one here, pop that up onto the board. And again, very tablet-like, I can just make that the size I want it to be, move it around the screen, I'm just gonna pop it up down the corner. I can go back into here, and as well as searching for images, I can search for videos as well. Partly why I love this feature is once I found the one I want, Again, just tap it, pops up onto the screen. Yeah, make that a bit smaller, because when I click on it, it'll go full size. What's really nice here is when I hit play, it's just going to play. There's no adverts and it doesn't roll onto any other content, so it's super safe way using YouTube. Okay, so other features you've got in here is the ability to add more pages. You've got templates, you've got interactive templates, such as the ability to come into here. Let's say we wanted to use coins. So we might be looking at how much something costs. I can move things around on the screen and manipulate them. I've got nice simple ones as well. So let's say I want a mind map. My next page can be a mind map. So that's the whiteboard feature. As I say, it's standalone, so I'm not even having to use my laptop at the moment. And it all saves directly onto the screen for me. So as well as having the whiteboard there, we've got simple tools such as the browser. So I can jump onto the browser and I can access the internet. So here, for instance, you might want to use things like BBC Bite Size, you might be just looking for a TED Talk, or for instance, I use it a lot for Lumio. So Lumio is smart notebook, but online. So it's using the software online, which means I can teach from my board without even having my laptop in the room, which is really handy. I'm just gonna pop out here for a second. Back to the home screen. Other tools you've got in here is Smart Mirror. So Smart Mirror is a really, really handy tool. What it allows teachers to do and students is to take any device at all, as long as it connects to the internet, and share what they've got on their screen up onto the board. How it works is students connect. They can connect via the app or this link here. Their name will pop up here. And then as soon as I tap on them, whatever's on their screen shares onto the board here. So really simple to do. For instance, I've got Hassan's Chromebook. So my student wants to share what he's got on his screen up onto mine, and it's simple to do. I can click on Hassan because he's already connected, and then he can share up to the screen. So I'm going to click here to invite. He can then choose, does he want to share a window or does he want to share his whole screen? Click share, and then whatever's on here will appear on there. It's as simple as that. So now Hassan can be sat in the room and he can start scrolling through his work, showing me what he's got. It's as simple as that to do. And as I said, it works on any device at all. So we've had a look at Hassan's work. The next thing I wanna show you is apps. So we all use apps on a daily basis, whether it's on your phone or on a tablet. It's exactly the same on here. It's just much bigger, so much better for the students to be able to see. For instance, if I was on this app here, we don't have to huddle around an iPad. We can all see it on the screen. They're super engaging. They're seriously easy to use. If I wanted to have a look at the muscles here, I can zoom in on certain parts of the body, easily turn things around on the touch screen. It's fantastic. Google Play, which I use, 
It's got over 300,000 educational apps. So all that content ready for you to use. I've been using, whilst in this app, the Magic Pen. So the Magic Pen is part of ToolSense. So make sure you check out that demo too. For instance, this one's really good. If we want to look at a specific muscle group, I can focus on that, talk about it. And after a little while, it vanishes away. If I want to focus on that muscle group, I can just draw a square around it, focus in. I can even zoom in further, talk about the bicep. Coming out of that, just popping the pen away. As I said, the apps are a big part of this board. It really helps you as a teacher and it makes the lesson so much more engaging for everyone out there. On that note to the apps, putting apps onto your screen is really, really easy. We've got a demo on smart remote management that shows you how you can look at all the screens in your school, popping on apps, making sure they power down safely at the end of the day, and everything else like that. So when it comes to using the board, it's very, very simple to do. This is all new and exciting, but it's just like using a tablet. So for instance, I can change everything in the settings from the wallpaper to connecting to the Wi-Fi, brightness settings, you name it, it's all in here. Very intuitive because it works like a normal tablet. So if I did want to change, let's say, the Wi-Fi, make sure it's on, like on my phone, I click on networks, I choose my Wi-Fi and pop in the password. So it's all very simple to look after. Okay, so that's everything you need to know about IQ. How about we now plug our laptops in or we use the onboard computer because you can have an onboard computer instead of a laptop. It's completely up to you. You might even have a visualizer plugged in. It's got loads of connectivity on the back. So if I click here on inputs, you can see there's lots of places to plug into for my visualizer and everything. I've actually got my laptop plugged in as well as having an onboard computer. I'm gonna pop onto my laptop first and just show you how simple things are. So in the morning, maybe I want to go straight to my register and Sims. I'm just gonna plug my laptop in and come straight here. And then it's very much business as usual. I've plugged my laptop in using USB-C. So with this board, I get USB-C, which means one cable does power to my laptop, it does the screen, and it also does the touch. So really nice and simple. You can also use HDMI as well. And as I said, we've also in this one got a built-in computer. So now that I'm on my laptop, it's very much business as usual. I can access things such as Smart Notebook, or I can go into the much more new and shiny Lumio. So this is like Smart Notebook, but their online version of it. And I can start doing my lessons in here nice and simply. Before I let you go, I just want to talk about pens. Really simple. Everything I've shown you is fantastic, but one of the basic things we want to be able to do is write on our whiteboard nice and easily. When we had the interactive whiteboards with the projectors, sometimes they would come uncalibrated. I'll try and write over here and it'd appear over here. These are pinpoint accurate. So when I write on the board, it's nice and easy. Also, I just pick up my pen and I start writing. It recognizes my hand is my hand, the pen is the pen. Also recognizes the back of my hand as the rubber. So really nice and easy to use. And I just think that's really important. So if you'd like to know any more about our Smart 6000S, do get in touch. You can come here to the Experience Center, have a demo, or we can talk you through it more online. Thanks very much. Hi, hello, it's me from the future, as you probably guessed. Just want to talk a little bit more about Tool Explorer, because even though we've had a look at the magic pen, there's so much more to it that you need to know about. So we've got the highlighter, which is really good to have. We've got the array of colors as well, which just makes it easy to grab and go. But I really wanted to talk about the stamps. I absolutely love the stamps. So we're looking at the stamps and we're thinking, you know, we normally prescribe that you must use a pen to come and write on the board. But actually with this, we're opening it up a bit and it's a lot more tactile too. So we can say to our students, stamp three stars. So they can come up to the board, use Tool Explorer to stamp three stars. Or, as we're always talking about our emotions in class, but we don't always want to express them verbally, I can get the students up to the board and they can use this. So they'll grab it and they can pop on the board how they're feeling. So they're great for a multitude of things. You know, I was using them for maths earlier. So first of all, I started off by using the magic pen because we were focusing on what we were doing. So I could say, right, we're going to be adding up. So I focused in on that. And then I used my stamps to create a sum. 
and then the students could come and use it and do the answer. So really nice and simple, but really tactile and engaging too. There's loads more to know about Tool Explorer, so do check out our video on that, and I'll see you soon.